All right, so let's go ahead and uh, make our stuff work using the um, scripts. So go to your scripts, your scripts file, okay? And what we're going to do is I'm just going to put it right after these other functions we already made. So just after this guy here, uh, we're going to start writing our next thing. So um, the first thing I want to do, uh, what we're going to do really is we're just going to add a button that um, when we click on this item, it's going to do that one thing. Okay. So uh, when we click on the menu button, it's going to expand, right? That's what we're looking for. So the very first thing I need to do is create that event, uh, the event listener and handler. Right, so we'll create the listener right now. So it's just going to be uh, document. I have to get the the element here. So it's document dot get element by ID. Oops, get element by ID because uh, the name of it is the uh, menu button. So then it's menu btn is what we named it, and then we're going to add the event listener. So this finds it, and now we're going to add event listener, and then on the event listener it needs two things. We have to tell it what it's listening for. So you can see there's all sorts of options here. We're looking for click. And then um, the other thing is what it's going to run. And in this case, it's, I'm just going to call it open menu. Okay. Uh, we haven't made that um, function yet, but that's the name of the function. That's what we're going to call it. All right. So now let's make the function that it's going to create. So we're just going to do function. That's the keyword that lets us know it's a function. Then it needs a name. In this case, it's just going to be open menu. And then um, it needs the parameters. So there's always parentheses. Uh, and then you have to do the opening brackets and then there's closing brackets, okay? All right, so now everything in here is going to be um, what we're going to do, all right? So if you remember, what our goal basically is going to be is this. I want that when, we already have it now that it's gonna add this event listener. I want that when I click on this, um, I want it to basically add the um, res menu uh, class to it. That's what it's going to do. And that's basically going to allow it to expand down. Okay. Um, which is great. Okay. So currently we already have it set up that when we click on this, it's going to run a function. I just have the, the function basically apply that to these. All right. So the first thing I need to do is actually get a hold of those. So what we're going to do is we're going to store those into a variable. So we're going to call it variable um, nav l for nav element. And that is going to be equal to, oops, equal to, equal to, there we go, docu, oops, document dot um, get elements by class name, because there's more than one. And if you remember, the name of it is nav, right? That was the name of those elements. Okay, so now it's going to store all of those um, into there for us, okay? Um, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, we're going to do a for loop. So I'm just going to go ahead and create the variable I for my for loop. Actually, I don't need to do this, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Um, and then after that, it's going to be our for loop. And what we're going to do is we're going to run a for loop. Because if you think about it, what we did is we have more than one nav. And so what I want to do is I'm going to create a for loop that's going to run um, every uh, all of these navs that are inside of this variable. This variable is holding currently four elements okay so we stored all four of those elements into this one variable right which means it's an array so i'm going to create a for loop that's going to run through each one of those okay so it's going to say okay the first element inside of nav l now the second nav element in nav l so it's going to have to go through them so we're going to use a for loop so that it does it the right number of times so we're going to say four and then it's going to be i because that's just the way that we count it we're going to start off with one Okay, boom, and then it's going to be, um, so we're going to start off start off with i is 1, then we're going to say i, while, while i is less than nav l dot length, okay, so length is just a property of nav l, so the length will be equal to the, um, the number of uh, uh, objects, the number of properties or elements. Uh, inside of nav l. So basically, if you remember, we stored all of them in there. So that will be four. That's basically, this will represent four. Okay. And then inside of that, uh, we're just going to do i plus plus. And that just means that every time it runs through the loop, it's going to add one to i. So the first time it runs, it's just going to be one. Once it gets done and it runs up again, it'll become two and then three and then four and so on and so forth. Okay. So now we're just going to go ahead and run through it. Okay. So we're going to say if 
the nav L and then I. So if nav L I, uh, where are you? Dot I class name is equal equal to nav then go ahead and run this bit of code okay so what is nav li nav li is that number so basically we're starting out with one so it means basically whatever's in position one right it's going to um it's going to place that all right um it's going to say uh it's going to say if that element has this attached to it, if that class name is nav, then it's going to go ahead and run it, which it is by, by default, right? So this will be true at first. What we're going to do is we're going to say nav L, and we're going to apply it to the same one that we're working on currently, because the first time this runs, I is being equal to one. Uh, we're going to add a class name. So we're going to do dot class name, and we're going to do plus equals, which means we're adding on to. So it'll keep the nav element. We're going to add onto it um, space res menu, which if you remember, that is ah, that is right here. Okay, so we're going to add basically that class to it. I have to put a space though, because if you remember when you do multiple ones, you'd have to do it like, we'd have to do it like this, right? I don't want it to start right with it because then it's going to look like that's one class. We actually put a space first. So just be careful and make sure that you add that um good and then we need to have an else so we'll just go ahead and do an else and we don't have to have a condition for that we're just going to say nav l hang on a second let me pull this down again we're going to be working on the same one the one that we're currently on this when it's rolling through and it's going to be class name and we're just going to set it back equal to um uh nav so nav semicolon okay so in essence what this is doing is this is adding res menu but if it already um if it if it is just this it's going to add this to it right but uh if it's not just that because meaning it's nav and res menu it's going to go ahead and just make it just nav again so basically it's going to if it if it's off it's going to turn it on and if it's on it's going to turn it off right so that's the idea so now if you save that and we preview it control r um you'll see now when we click on it right that looks fine so it pops up this was all the same what we already had but now when we click on it what it's doing is it's adding that res menu right when we're in here but you'll notice when i click on it again it turns it back off and that's because if it is on it will run the else and if it's off it will run the if here so basically that will turn it on and off. So it's kind of a toggle in a weird way. All right. And this just adds it to um, each of the of the elements. OK, um, good. So uh, that should be good on that one. So go ahead and click on the next button.